Hello, everybody. Welcome back. <clears throat> um, okay, we're still there. Alright. Because I think we're supposed to be packing up and leaving. Alright. What do I have here on my list of things? This. Angle. <clears throat> Excuse me. Rain's fall asked you to meet his son, Eagle. Oh, yeah, that's right. Got that. That. Alright, we'll stay away from there for now. We'll do this one. Um. <clears throat> What's the quick... Valentine's the closest place there? Let's go ahead and fast travel to Valentine. Get rid of that horse, move Calm it. down. Right. Yeah. Morning. Another day. Exactly. Another day. Fast travel. Okay. Valentine. There it is. <clears throat> Off we go. Another area. I think I've talked about this before that I haven't gotten to yet. I, I really want to get there to open up more of the game. I can't, it's like it's crazy to think I'm only like I'm a little more than halfway through the game right now, as far as like the story goes. Massive game. <clears throat> I've been playing it now for what on and off now for like two years. That's nuts. And that's not counting all the stuff I do when I'm not recording the videos. <laughs> when I'm going out and hunting and all that stuff. I feel like it's been a while since I've been to this town. You're simply not a gentleman. You're a scoundrel. And quite frankly, What's this question like mark? In front of a lady is exactly what I'd expect from you. You blaggard, you foundling. My dear Helen, I told you I... Hello My there, friend. Mr. You there. What was this guy saying? Yeah? What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? To somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy? Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Uh, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <laughs> With the shotgun? Okay. Shoot, sir. 
while our courage holds. Don't think too much about it. Good shot, sir. I didn't bat an eye. What are you fools? You got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please, this creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Why can't I switch to my other gun? Please, put us out of our misery. Now is as good a time as any. Go for it! <laughs> Nothing to fear at all! Are you sure you can see? <sighs> now I'll stand on one leg! Me too! You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast! He emerged fully formed from the swamps, Helen! Silence, you These black guys have a sir, death wish. You having me do this with a damn shotgun. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. My bottle and his brains, if you please. At least I have brains. <laughs> Why? I must be the bravest. Excellent. <sighs> now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. Huh? For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Why? I got 84 cents for that. Um, really? This is the one that should have been selected. Oh my god. Actually, maybe the shotgun made that a bit easier than it normally would have been. Alright, since we're out here in this area... Um, let's see here. No, oh, don't want that one. There we go. Come on, sir. Do. I bet that horse cost you a lot. A lot of time and energy. Get up now. Shut up. Somebody help me out. I was in the army. Okay. What's with people always crossing the road? up and mail. Hello, sir. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> All right, let's check and see what we got here. Got to go over there. I see your friend, I'll help you out presently. Oh, did you need something else? Kind of mail that I got. Oh, hello. 
I see you there. Give me a minute, please. Girl. Hello? All right. I, I, I think it's been a while since I've been over here. To the point where I don't even remember most of this area outside of the Valentine. I really don't. This is like a whole new area again. Oh man, this game is massive. Uh, why is it always like the game just wants me to jump to to horse jack people? You came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I... Sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence, or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the guard. to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then.
way to get in through the window? No? Don't let me jump over that. That's dumb. Oh, damn. Was I spotted? Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. I... I don't like these timed ones when they don't tell me I'm timed. So dumb. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Uh, again, really? <sighs> Alright, so going up top doesn't look just not good for me. I figured I'd be able to get into a window or something. But also, I didn't realize I was tying. It's dumb. Meet the early train to Saint Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then.
do you want? You must be Danbury. <laughs> what? Will you be quiet? Need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti? I... I... Danbury. Think, man. Mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over such a nice I... floor as this. It's here! It's here! Done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury. You okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Our head office will send me back to get you. Oh, I can escape through the window, but I couldn't have come in through the window. Hey, 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 hey! Hold it right there! Weapons on the ground and hands in the air! Easy now, fellas. Now! We won't tell you again! I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Question mark. Let's check it out since we're here. Yep.
there maybe? Familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all. To know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. I feel like um, this is something I probably should have started a long time ago because I think I have like all of this probably. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. You have been helpful. Thank you. You're a horseman, I know. You'll want to have this on hand. Save it for bad injuries. Heaven forbid your horse is in trouble. You'll be glad you had it. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, Traveler. That's it? Okay. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. Huh. Okay. That was going to be one of those things where I'm just going to continuously turn them in because I already had all of them. Oh, my poor horse. Yeah, hold still, girl. There you go. All right. Okay, well, you know what? I, I'm not going to make all these super long. I think I may actually end this one a little bit early. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to call this one uh, pretty pretty early here. Um, so, yeah, uh, thank you all for joining me. Um, until next time, take it easy out there, everybody. All right, bye.